When RMS Titanic sank in 1912, the wreckage spent 73 years under 12,000 feet of water before it was discovered. Decades later, a near revolution in engineering technology would bring that doomed ship back into view. Oh, that's a just incredible. A small underwater robot named Jason Jr. helped explore the sunken hulk in 1986. JJ was tethered to Alvin, a submersible hovering just yards away with a three-person crew. The smaller, mobile JJ went where Alvin could not and ushered in a new era of robotic undersea exploration. Much of this new technology was developed at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution at Falmouth, Massachusetts. Uh, we can survey the seafloor. Uh, we can then identify areas of specific interest, and the vehicle can go back and actually perform some complex functions. With cutting-edge communications and state-of-the-art guidance systems, new vessels could dive deeper, remain submerged longer, and provide more information about the oceans than ever before. One of the newest vessels in the fleet is Nereus. Connected by fiber optics, she is nimble, durable, and can stay submerged for up to 20 hours. As Nereus goes to the seafloor, it's essentially trailing a very uh, thin thread, literally, the, what I'm holding here in my fingers. It, it spins this almost spider web, glass spider web, behind it as it goes about its business in the ocean. And this glass is what allows us to actually communicate to the robot. Another innovation came in vehicle navigation. Using systems modified for flying drones and other computer programs, Bowen's team helped introduce guidance controls for robotic exploration. In the past, in the days of Titanic, you'd uh, be sitting there with a joystick and you'd sweat pouring down your brow and you'd be holding position against the currents and trying to keep the heading and the depth and the position constant. Uh, now, the control systems of the robots, uh, essentially all you do is push a button. Communication satellites link robots on the ocean floor to humans hundreds of miles away. Today, scientists sit side by side with programmers, watching pre-programmed maneuvers of a vehicle engaged in research on the ocean floor. I don't even have to be on the ship now. I now have a telecommunication center at the Graduate School of Oceanography at Rhode Island, and I have a command center, and I walk into that command center, and I think I'm on the ship. One hundred years after the unsinkable Titanic struck an iceberg, that ill-fated ship continues to inspire 21st century engineers and explorers. Tom Ritchie, Associated Press.